am going to show you how to calculate the swash style radius of a black hole. So a black hole is basically a body with an escape velocity greater than the speed of light. So the formula for the escape velocity of a body is equal uh, to 2 gm over r quantity root. So this is equal to the escape velocity. So uh, when you hear the word black hole, what comes into your mind is a black colored sphere. So most of people think that uh, black holes are black because the substance they are made up of is black. Actually, that's nothing more than a misconception. When we consider black holes, uh, they occupy zero volume. So, and uh, all of the mass of the black hole is contained within an infinitely small co point called a singularity. So, uh, therefore, uh, when we consider consider about black holes, they do not contain anything. It's just empty vacuum. So the reason why black holes are black because um, ev everything which anything which resides within that black colored sphere has an escape velocity greater than the speed of light. So therefore, nothing can escape from that region, including light. So if no light can make it back to the outside world from this region, that object will appear to be black. So that's the reason why black holes are black. So this Schwarzschild radius is the radius of this sphere. So now I'm going to show you how to calculate uh, that value. So, <coughs> so as I was saying, uh, we can um, we can uh, transform any object into a black hole by um, by by reducing its volume containing all of its mass uh, until the escape velocity of that object becomes equal to the speed of light. So what what we are doing is we are uh, decreasing the value of r until v becomes equal to c. So that's what we are doing. So uh, imagine uh, you take an object and compress it until uh, it until the escape velocity of that object becomes equal to the speed of light. So, so C equals C is the international symbol uh, of the speed of light. So C equals the square root of 2 gm over r. So now what I am going to do is I am going to I am going to uh, square C and get rid of the square root in the right hand side. Now I have got that 2 G M over R is equal to the uh, to C squared. So G is Newton's gravitational constant and M is the mass of the object and R is the radius of that object so now i am going to rearrange this equation and uh, i'm going to um, solve for r so now i have got that r equals 2 gm over c square so now what is going to happen is that uh, this object will collapse under its own weight uh, because of the in, uh, uh, because of the uh, insane uh, intensity of force, so this object will uh, get uh, will collapse under its own weight, and all of the mass of that object will uh, get concentrated at an infinitely small point called a singularity. So now what has happened is. Uh, all of the mass of that object has uh, get concentrated in a small point. So therefore, it's obvious that everything which resides within this region has an escape velocity greater than the speed of light. Therefore, this uh, region will appear to be black as I mentioned you before.
so this is the formula for the uh, source trail radius of a black hole 2 g m over r uh, 2 g m over c squared so this gives you the source trail radius of a black hole so hope you enjoyed this video see you guys in the future video